Good morning. We are back to the session of Grow and Learn. Today the topic of the discussion is the parts of plant. Moving on, broadly we are classifying the plants into five categories: roots, stem, leaves, flowers, and fruits. Roots are found beneath the ground. Stems start from the roots and they move on further. Where stems on the lateral stems, you will find leaves on it, the green colors, which are green in color. And then, one when the plant the plant gets matured, then it gets flower on it, which can be of different colors. And then, when the flower matures, then it turns into a fruit. Now, moving on a detailed um, detailed version of how this classification moves on. When we are talking about roots, firstly. The roots of a plant are seen mostly underground and which look brown in color. So this part definitely is going to be roots. Moving on, how does a matured matured root looks like? You see, uh, this is beneath the ground where a lateral, uh, the main root which goes at the depth is known as primary root and which which comes at the sidewise is known as lateral root but the root hairs are present in both of the roots lateral root as well as the primary root and the tip of the primary root is known as root tip which is covered by a root cap which covers which protects the root tip to getting damaged now moving on to the types of roots, we are basically classifying roots into tap root, lateral root, and fibrous root. Let's see. Um, can we guess how the first one looks like? A very general idea because from the diagram, it has so many fibers. This the main primary root has so many fibers attached to it, so definitely it has going to be fibrous root. So A is fibrous roots, and the second one. The primary root has has grown in size, but and so this is called tap root, which is sometimes edible. So tap root is also edible. Now moving on to the functions of roots. The roots hold the plant firmly in the soil, thereby serving as an anchor to the plant. So the main terminology to add here is the anchor of the plant. One of the main functions of the root is to absorb water and minerals nutrients from the soil for the growth of the plant sometimes they also store sugar and carbohydrates so the main function of the root is it works as a pumping system for from because it directs the water and minerals from the roots to the stem and then from the stem to the stem, flowers leaves fruits everywhere moving on we're going to talk about stems and leaves the stem holds the leaves flowers and fruits in a plant the vascular tissue inside the stem that is called the is called xylem inside the stem holds to transplant water and nutrients from the roots to the leaves and food from the leaves to the roots so you see how the how the water supply the water and the nutrient supply from the roots has grown to the entire plant plants release excess water in the form of water vapor through minor openings in the leaves which are called stomata and this process is known as stomatal opening and these the complete process is known as transpiration. Transpiration we are going to deal in the video number 3. So please look on at video number 3 so that the idea or the concept of transpiration is pretty clear to you. Now moving on to the next uh, thing, flower. Uh, flower is basically classified into five, four classifications. Sepal, petal, stamen and pistil. Let's look on, let's have an idea with the help of a diagram. This is the normal flower. Where sepal is, where a sepal is the base base of the plant, which is green in color, and the main the main core of the sepal is known as receptacle, which holds the entire weight of the flower. Moving on, the beautiful part of any kind of flower is the petal, which is different, which is found different in color. And now moving on to the inner part of the flower. There is a tube-like structure in a flower which is known as style and the top part, top part of it is known as stigma. And the bottom is known as ovary and ovary contains ovules in it. So you see the stigma, style, ovary and ovule 
in combined they are called pistil this is known as pistil whereas on the other side there are some a uh, minor fibrous like uh, fiber like growth from the base of the ovary which is known as anther the fibrous stem is known as anther and the top is known as filament and the top of the filament this contains anther which is pollen grains basically pollen grains so this is called anther so anther and filament together is known as stamen this now stamen is also known as the male reproductive system of the body male male section of the plant male section of plant and pistil is known as female part of the plant now moving on how the fruit is grown the male and the female parts of a flower are involved in the formation of a fruit and this process of involvement is known as fertilization so you see pistil and stamen were involved in the process of fertilization then a fruit is grown and fruit and flower are grown now moving on to the summary of this session we talked about the parts of plant and then we define them with the classify classified with the help of a diagram then we talked about roots and the type of roots and its functions then we moving on to functions of stem we also talked about the vascular system how it works and the transpiration process then moving on to the flower we talked about the parts of the flower and the classification of male and female body in a flower and then how the fertilization process goes so the very main agenda of this session is to remember the terminologies which are going to help you in next coming slides if you do find this video helpful please to post and comment first and subscribe that's it for now thank you very much